just out of Christmas chaos and plunging headlong into another madness? What am I talking about? Obviously, back to school. Now, let me think, can I help you retain your sanity through the back to school chaos? As you can see, I have got a co-presenter today. You know who has decided to join in. Two words, Simba. No barking. Tip number one. Preempt and prevent. Draw up a checklist well before the D-Day, perhaps a week before, and keep ticking the boxes. Uniform, tick. Lunchbox, tick. Water bottle, tick. Gym gear, tick. Sports gear, tick. Buy back to school clothing and stationery at an optimum price. In simple words, shop when the sales are on. When I was in New Zealand, I used to work at a shoe store and I remember a mum would come in every season to buy school shoes at the mid-year sales to use them six months later. If you keep back to school shopping till the very end, when you are in a crisis mode, chances are you'll end up paying more. The third tip is my favorite. Recycle and reuse. There's no shame in wearing your older brother or sister's uniform or even investing in second-hand uniforms and things like calculators, tabs. Tip number four, cut the fluff. How many pencils, sharpeners, erasers, geometry sets do you need? And if your child is hell-bent on the new pencil box which has her favorite cartoon character, indulge once in a while, but do not go overboard. If you give in every time, you will be sending a very wrong message to your child, add to the landfill, and most importantly, put a dent in your budget. <laughs> Tip number five. Have a designated school rack for things like uniforms washed and pressed the night before, backpack, water bottle, gym bag, a little drawstring bag for headbands, socks, little bits and pieces. Encourage your children to pick up everything in the morning from the school rack and at the end of the day return everything to the same designated school rack. This way, school uniforms will be aired, ventilated, less crumpled and last long. Few things will go missing. Your whole house will not be full of back to school clutter. And you will be instilling values of discipline and organization in your children. Remember, a stitch in time saves nine. Always look for rips, cuts, stains and fix them instantly. This way you will be adding life to your children's uniforms and in the process save a few extra pennies in your piggy bank. Tip number six, meal prep. Prepare and plan school lunches and buy provisions according to the meal plan. For instance, you can wash and pluck the fruits, berries, bake a batch of brownies and muffins, prepare your own Trail mix.
ask me, Samita, why should I prepare when I can simply buy things like trail mix? I'll let you into a little secret. Commercial trail mix is often full of just one item, the cost effective item. When I am making my own trail mix, I can have a balance of nuts as per my own choice, my preference. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Add sweet treats like raisins, dates and sneakily add a few healthy things like seeds, like roasted chickpeas. You know those, no mum, I don't want those kind of things. So those kind of things you can camouflage if you can make your own trail mix. You can even make a mix without the nuts for a child who might be allergic to nuts. Learn with Samita's pro tip. Replace lollies and candies with things like dates, raisins. Replace fizzy drinks with fruit juice. Better still, whole fruits, so that the child gets the fiber and other nutrients. Tip number seven. Most importantly, make learning a fun activity. Example. What is this? You would say, this is a toy. I would say, this is a teaching aid. A teaching aid that helps learn cognitive skills and numerical skills. For instance, if you say, what's 2 plus 3? Boring. But if you say, what's 2 greens plus 3 yellows? It becomes so much more interesting. If at the outset you make learning a fun activity, your child will never stop learning. I haven't stopped learning and trust me, that's the way to go. And now, some stellar back to school tips from a hands-on Aussie mum. Hi, my name is Sharon and thank you Dita for having me on your YouTube channel and here's my five top tips for getting back to school ready. Gather up all your unused stationery that your kids may have been sent home with um, last year. So that will save and keep the costs down when you're ordering the stationery for the new year that they're going into. Um, my second tip is to don't automatically buy your school uniforms from the uniform shop. Um, sometimes it can be more cost effective to go out to say Best and Less or Kmart and get the uniforms um, from there. They don't have to be exactly the same as long as they're the right colour. I find that keeps the cost down in uniforms. Uh, number three, uh, don't leave it till the last minute to find um, that you haven't got the right hats or the right socks. For instance, my son's going into his last year of primary. He needs a different colour hat. So, and all those little things like um, school socks, what they wear last year, they might not be willing to wear this year. Um, if you have a daughter, you might find that they often change their minds. Um, so just check that because you don't want to have that, uh, that early morning tantrum on the first day of school. I'm not wearing those socks. Hmm, we've all been there, I'm sure. Um, fourthly, Wait till the school bags and lunch boxes are on sale. You can save yourself quite a small fortune if you find out what your child is wanting and just keep an eye on them because they eventually will go on sale. It's always good to grab a bargain. And my last one is try and have all your uniforms, your lunch boxes, your drink bottles, everything ready the week before you go back to school. It's great to start the new year off um, feeling organized and efficient. 
Um, and if you carry on, start that way, it hopefully will carry on that way. All right, all the best. Bye. Let's summarize Sharon's top tips. Buy at a discount, reuse and recycle, buy at least a week before the term begins. Have that conversation with your child. Is he or she still okay to wear that sock or the hat? Is that geometry box non-negotiable? Better have the conversation early than have early morning tantrums. What's coming up next on Learn with Samita? Join us. The Australia Day festivities begin next week. Take a tour of some of the scenic spots in Australia and why and how we should preserve them for the future generations. Also on the cards, an Australian textile icon. Till then, you know what to do. Simply like, comment, share and subscribe. Till next time, Samita signing off. Bye for now.